about children's homes, really, about a lad who um, his mum dies, he's not got any relatives, so he gets taken into care in the mid 80s, and that was a period when there was these children's homes were were terrible, dark, awful places, and children got treated very violently there. Not always, but often. They were laws unto themselves, and if you had bad management, as you do in the institutions, then it could, they could just spiral off. And so often, up and down the country, you have these dreadful institutions during this period where children were treated with the most astonishing violence and a great deal of sexual abuse taking place there as well. So it's very dark. Um, uh, I, I researched this book by speaking to people who have been in these places, and um, um, I mean, the the other side of it, apart from it being, it being so dangerous, I suppose, was was that. Um, they just wanted so much to escape, so they were always trying to escape. You know, I remember when I was a kid, you kept hearing that, oh, so and so, you know, they've escaped from these children's homes and how evil and bad they were. Well, of course, they were just trying to get away from this stuff that was going on. So uh, there you go. It's um, it, it's kind of uh, escape from Colgate's version of um, uh, these institutions. This uh, set of circumstances in the 60s, 70s and 80s, with this uh, astonishing uh, abuse taking place, really, uh, you haven't got any business not writing about it. It just stares you in the face, because it was such a huge, massive, catastrophic uh, failure of society to look after uh, vulnerable people, and take people off their parents on the ground that they weren't being looked after properly, and then put them into, into homes with sort of violent um, and uh, sexual psychopaths. It's just quite astonishing, and it happened to so many hundreds and thousands of people uh, that really it just it just begs to be to be written. About.